I'm going to base this on how fun it was for me personally, how good the meta game was overall and overall player sentiment. Okay. Obviously this could be a little bit more biased because we were going to have different opinions. Let me get the easy one out of the way as my least favorite expansion of all time. Fuck this one. This one's the worst one. I made me quit the game. Speaks volumes. This is the worst expansion Hearthstone's ever released. I don't care what you say. That's what it is. And we'll spread this negativity with some positivity. Where's Angoro? Legendary. Best expansion in the game. You know why Angoro is the best expansion in the game chat? Literally the best one is because after Angoro was added to the game, the Hearthstone was never the same. Quests as a mechanic fundamentally changed Hearthstone for the better. You can't find me on that one. It's perfect. Also, goaded release video from, from Ben Brode. Goaded. It was, it was, it was perfect. It was perfect. I, I miss it. <laughs> I miss it, Jack. I really do. Okay, anyways, we're gonna move on. All right, uh, Voyage to the Second City. I think Voyage to the Second City is pretty good. I think, I think fondly back on it. Now, was it perfect? No. It had a good theme. It had a, it had a really good moment. It had a great mechanic. Dredge is really, really good. So I can't, I can't imagine it's there. I can't imagine it's there, but I think it's gonna be here. I think as I get older and more Hearthstone expansions start to be released, I could honestly see this one going up here. But in the moment, I'm gonna put it rare. This might get changed at the end of the expansion. Okay, this expansion, I can't even count as an expansion because the problem with Ashes of Outlands was that it was Demon Hunter only. Like you, you played Demon Hunter, you played a Rage Warrior. I feel like this expansion never actually had time to showcase it, like in its world. So I'm gonna put a common. That's what it is. I don't know. I, I feel like I couldn't tell you like 90% of the cards for this expansion if we just removed Demon Hunter from the game. So it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Black Rock Mountain. I love Black Rock Mountain. A great adventure. Had some really solid cards in it. Grim Patron. It's an epic. It's an epic. Epic one. Absolutely loved it. Uh, I also think that the, the best part about Black Rock Mountain was the cinematic that went with it. I actually think the cinematic one's really, really good. Okay, Dark Moon Fair. What did Dark Moon Fair have? Corrupt. Uh, it had an okay theme. It brought back the old gods. The old gods were fun for a bit, but it was still the year. Oh, but this one is the one that brought Ilganoth to Hearthstone, and I really don't like Ilganoth. I really, really don't like it. Uh, it's it's tough because I think it wasn't a horrible expansion. So I don't know. I think it's like higher common. I can I can get I can get behind with rare. It had a lot of good things. I also thought that like the overall theme of the expansion was fun. Like the flavor of the cards were really really cool. So I'm okay with it. The set of dragons was straight walkers. Um, absolute straight bonkers, if I'm gonna be honest. And it's hard to really think about that expansion. I did not know. Um, it's hard to thank you for the donation. It is, it's hard for me to gauge this one. This one was so whack. It was so powerful before Demon Hunter came out. I don't think it was better. I really liked Galakron though. I really liked it. I thought Galakron was really, really fun. It was a fun mechanic. I'm going to put it up here. It, it was, it was ape shit. It was absolute ape shit, but like it was fun. Like it was a good time in Hearthstone. You know what? Honestly, it might be up there. No, but it brought Draconic Lackey to the game. No, it's rare cap. No, no, no. It's rare. It's right. I can't, I can't go higher than rare. I can't go higher. Absolutely not. Uh, Galakrond's Awakening. What were the big things from Galakrond? There's a fun adventure. Good adventure. Really good adventure, to be fair. Um, you had uh, the amazing Reno. You had Risky Skipper. Ooh, Risky Skipper is a good point. All right, I'll put it next to it. Uh, I'll put it next. I'll put it next to it. Look how mad this guy is, dude. Look at him. Bro, Angora made me rank quest rogue. What are you doing? Dude, shut up. Just like, it's my tier list. Why are you so angry? Relax. Okay. This is a hot take. This could be a hot take here, but I genuinely think goblins versus gnomes is a shitty expansion. And I think it's a bad expansion because when I look at the cards that were released for this expansion, so many of them are so toxic to the game. Like implosion can go suck itself. I fucking hate that one. So it's, it's going here. I think the only reason this gets so much credit is because it's the very first expansion to the game. So maybe it goes up into the common common realm. But like, bro, if you go look at it, it was ass. Okay, there was ass. You had Dr. Boom, which was absolute ape shit times. So it's here. Actually, you know what? Hold on, can I make a new one? Okay, Myrtle Castle and Athria. All right, chat, another hot take here. But I actually think Castle and Athria was a really good expansion. Okay, people will look at this expansion and go, this expansion sucks. I hated playing against an Athrias, but bro, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. Locations 
have been such a great addition to Hearthstone that I think it almost deserves it. Like it, it almost deserves a high epic. Like locations to heart to Hearthstone are they're they're beautiful. They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. What a good mechanic. Also, Prince Renafall, really, really good for the game. I, I, I'm actually pretty high. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty high up on Kyle Sinathria. I'm pretty high up about it. it. It was a good expansion. I think people will remember losing to Denathrius, but my God, it, it was an expansion. Also, the Jailer. Yes, true. The Jailer was added. Yes, yes, yes. It, honestly, I might put it up here, but we'll, we'll think about it. I think Angora's on a different level. March of the Lich King. Okay. How do I put this gently? Kind of a snooze expansion, if I'm going to be honest. I think Death Knight was cool, but I couldn't really tell you what was happening in this expansion. So, uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's fine. I think Death Knight's good. I, I, I'm kind of tempted to put it here though. I, I couldn't like, if you asked me to name 10 cards that are not in Death Knight, I would have, I would have a struggle with it. And most people probably felt the same way. I'm going to do this. I think it was a pretty whatever expansion. I'm not. It might be higher because I think adding death into the game is good, but I gave Ashes of Atlanta a common, so I'm going to give March Lich King also a common. I, but I do think it was more fun than Ashes. All right, Cobalt to Catacombs. Dude, this was a crazy expansion. This is, I think, the most powerful expansion they released at the time. It was it was crazy. So, it was a, it was a pretty spicy expansion. Legendary weapons were whatever. Dungeon run was a, is a point. Uh, there was the corridor creeper thing too. I think it's fine. I think it's like around here. I think it was one. It was a fun expansion. I, I, I like when expansions are kind of like this, where they kind of just completely throw the game on its head. Cause it's like, oh my God, this expansion was so impactful, right? So I'll put in rare. I think it's a rare. I don't think it's on par with Nathria, but I think it was a good expansion. Knights of the Frozen Throne. I'll just put it up there. We don't have to discuss it. These two are the good. I'm going to be honest. Like this full year of Hearthstone was the best one. But I don't think Cobalt and Catacombs was the reason for it. I think it was these two. So that's what it is. League of Explorers. Also, I'm going to put an S tier. All the reason I'm putting League of Explorers into the S tier category, by the way, is because of Discover. I think Discover fundamentally has changed Hearthstone forever. And all of these expansions have changed Hearthstone forever. And it was also really, really good cinematics. And they introduced a lot of really good characters to the game. A lot of the cards were pretty whatever from Explorers, but like it was such a good time in Hearthstone that I think it deserves a legendary spot. Absolutely. Barons. I'm not going to discuss it. Forgettable. Forgettable for the most. Actually, they added hero cards. All right. A little higher than Barons. These two I, I'm jaded towards because it was in the same year as United Stormwind, but this one was kind of whatever. Also, a lot of really bad metagames, but like as it's been rotated out, I don't really remember the expansion. And that's probably not great considering that it was the lead expansion of a year that that speaks volumes to like how whatever this was this one had the hero cards so whatever uh i think this is fine uh rise of shadows rise of shadows was an interesting expansion it was a good it was a good year it started off that trilogy i like the story like the storyline is a big deal but it introduced lackeys, man. Uh, that's my problem with this expansion. I'd, I'd rate this expansion so high if it wasn't for the lackey mechanic. I just don't like the lackey mechanic. I think it just was absolute ape shit. And it, it turned Hearthstone games into an absolute fiesta. It's like the complete bad side of Discover is what it came down to. But it was fun. It was a good time for a little bit. There were some good meta games. I think I put it in rare. I think, I don't know. It's probably around here. Honestly, I'm going to move Sunken City above here. I think Sunken City was really, really good. I'm going to go like this. I think it's fine. I think Descent was more fun. So we'll go like this. I mean, she's a Gaddison. All right, boys. This is where my, my, my patches came into the game and he absolutely fucked shit up. I don't know. It's so tough with Mean Streets because I think Mean Streets is a good expansion. Like there was a lot of really good expan things in Mean Streets, but it also had so many bad things. And there were so many weird cards in that set. It also introduced the try class thing, which I thought was really fun. I don't know, man. It's so tough. It really depends. I, I think the metagame for Mean Streets was ass. So I'm going to put it here. I, I remember more of the, I, I th there was, there's good moments in Gadgeton. Yeah, there's good moments. There's good, there's good moments. Okay. 
Curse of Naxxramas is so hard to rate because the problem with Curse of Naxxramas is that the metagame actually sucked ass. Like people look really fondly on Naxxramas, but dude, Undertaker ruined the game for a really, really long time. So it's tough for me to look at that expansion with like being happy about it. Like it was not fun for a while, but the adventures were fun. The adventure was fun. It was a cool way to introduce cards into Hearthstone. So like, I'm gonna give it rare. I'm gonna give it like here, I think somewhere on there. Honestly, it should go worse, but it was a good expansion for what it was. For the first time in Hearthstone, I almost think like this one could have been, it, it could have been up here if if Ben Bro just decided to nerf Undertaker like earlier on. Like if they if they insta sniped it, God, it would have been it would have been golden. But yeah. Okay. Hot take here, chat. I hated this expansion. I think this expansion's miserable. One of the worst expansions they've ever added to the game. To Tuscar Totemic. Barnes, Big L, Big L, horrible time in Hearthstone, horrible time. In Spirit Claws with the with the Shaman here. Yeah, it's gone. All right, Rastakhan's Rumble, Tus Tuscar's TGT. Yeah, but it didn't become metagame until Karazhan chat. It was, it was, wait, no, no, did it? What am I remembering? I feel like it was a nerf for a while, right? Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Hold on. Let me double check. Let me double check. Let me, let me, let me, let me check this out. Let me check this out. Oscar. Totemic. I spell it wrong. I must have. It has two R's. What did I get nerfed? Okay. No, it's fine. No, they nerfed it. In, they nerfed it in Karazhan chat. They nerfed it in Karazhan. It was awful. What a miserable experience. I hated that expansion. That expansion was... It, it was one of the worst times in Hearthstone. One of the worst times in Hearthstone. One of the worst times. I, I, listen, they, I like the vibes. I thought the adventure was fun, right? And we played it recently and it was really, really good. But I hated this. I, I can't I can't look at that. Basically how I'm deciding how good an expansion was, if I look back on it and I remember how good and the great things it added to the game, what did Karazhan add to the game? Like, I think most people will look at this expansion and go, God, that was a miserable time in Hearthstone. So... No shot, no shot. Okay, Rastakhan's Rumble, I feel like is, it's so unfortunate for this expansion because a lot of the cards are really cool in this expansion. It was just so weak that it, maybe if they bump the numbers up slightly and maybe if Overkill was also not shit, it would be good. So I'm gonna put it in the what the fuck category because the theme is so good. The theme is so good in that expansion. It's just so many of those cards were just straight whack. They're straight whack, straight whack. All right, Oldham. Uh, probably an epic. Uldum was a good time in Hearthstone. Uldum was a good time in Hearthstone. Okay. Uldum reintroduced cool quest mechanics. Zephyrus was added to the game. There was a bunch of crazy decks you could play. I'm not going to count the when they brought back wild cards. Not Tombs of Terror. I'm not counting that. I'm counting the, the pure expansion of the game. And it was really, really good. It was a good time in Hearthstone. Things felt fun. Really, really good time. I Honestly... honestly Honestly, I'm going to put it higher than F. Yeah, I think it was really good. I don't think it's epic, but it, it was a good expansion. Okay, Skullman's Academy had the hard, like literally the hardest task of following up Ash of Outlands, and I think it did a really good job. I fondly remember Skullman's Academy. Now, there are a couple of really good cards that probably annoyed people, such as Penflinger, but for what it was, in order for them to match Ash of Outlands, that expansion had to be pretty bonkers. And it was like the Set of Dragons. I think it was good. I think it was, it was a crazy, like these three expansions, crazy times in Hearthstone, but they all ended up with a pretty fun experience overall. TGT, again, I'm gonna just put it in, like here. What did TGT add to the game? Inspire was garb. Anything else? Like Justicar was cool. I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. Oh yeah, who, am, no, no, whatever expansion. Boomsday Project, okay, Boomsday. I'm gonna rate the Boomsday last because I would like to talk about Witchwood. Witchwood was fundamentally the thing that I think probably made people leave Hearthstone the most. If I had to, if I had to pick one expansion where people are like, fuck this game, this is the expansion. Shutterwalk, 
Gen and Baku probably made people the most irritated in Hearthstone ever. So it's tough because the expansion was, yeah, no, no, no. it also, but it introduced Rush Chat. So it's, it's going to be the highest on WTF. All right, it's going to be the highest because it, it's hard to rate this expansion because the expansion itself, like as a whole was actually really interesting. But Shutterbox shouldn't exist. You gonna, hold on. You gonna say that to my dad? Hold on. Say that. Say that to my dad. Say it to him. Say it. Go ahead. That's right. You're not, you're not gonna say anything. Holy shit. Thanks for 50, bro. My God. Thank you. Which one did nothing wrong? Shutterbox was funny. No, which one did stuff wrong? Which one did stuff wrong? Okay. Which one did stuff wrong? I'm telling you, chat. I did a video with this a while ago with Hat. I we talked about it. This expansion fundamentally made people leave Hearthstone just just there this was this was just not a good year for Hearthstone it just wasn't a good year for Hearthstone Arlen, thank you again man 50 holy shit oh my god uh the trailer was really good for the Ben Road yeah yeah I like the found footage thing it was really really funny but yeah uh whispers of the old gods chat let's be real here boys let's be real here goaded expansion absolutely goaded expansion first first rotation ever in Hearthstone they introduced arguably the coolest mechanic at the time with all of the old gods, everybody got Cthulhu free. So many fun cards in that expansion. The vibes off the charts. Good expansion. Okay, here's my thing about Boomsday. Boomsday, I actually think was a good expansion. The problem with Boomsday is that it had to follow the Witchwood. And I legitimately think that's what makes people think about Boomsday in a negative light. Because the Boomsday had a lot of really cool cards in it. If you go look at it, really cool card. But because of the Witchwood, it is looked back like these two expansions are looked back so poorly because this year sucked. Also, Rossicons were just weak. Uh, I think I'm going to give probably the Boomsday like maybe up here. It was cool. It was a good expansion. Probably the Boomsday was the Control Warrior. No, that was during Rise. Rise of Shadows. I like Boomsday. It had a lot of really cool and a lot of a lot of really interesting um, mechanics in the game good vibe too okay let me double check this this is perfect uh, this is perfect no one's touching this maybe like this to be honest but we'll leave it like this uh i'm good with this this is fine this is fine this is fine this is fine yeah okay good good, good. all right chat where'd you put festival of legends probably put it in common maybe low rare i think my problem with festival of legends the problem with festival of legends is i think the game isn't interesting enough i like the i think the theme is cool but i think the cards generally is just they're not impactful enough to make me gonna remember this expansion for a while like i think in a year i'm gonna remember the the theme of the expansion but most of the cards are probably gonna get forgotten um which is my biggest problem with this expansion i think the i think the cards could have been stronger but they might have done that intentionally right so no, but signature Tony is goaded. Absolutely. 